Ah oh, yes, drink up my friend, warm your spirits with a pint of mead, make merry, for we are living in complete and utter misery right now. <laughs> and I'm freezing to death once again. Hell yeah, my friends, welcome to the next episode of Skyrim Life as a merchant. And although I'm freezing to death currently due to my puny fire, it is no longer because I'm wearing uh, nothing, as in no protection, as a few nice commenters suggested to me that Frostfall might be having an issue with registering my clothing, and it was indeed doing that. Uh, for some reason, Frostfall was, uh, it just wouldn't uh, register my clothes as warmth, um, but a quick little scripting mod um, sorted that out, and now my clothes do indeed warm me. If we actually inspect equipment, we can see that my exposure is currently 71%, but my worn gear is giving me 172 warmth and 117 coverage. So that's been sorted, my friends. I'm no longer, uh, well, I'm no longer practically naked, according to the mod, which is nice. My clothes actually have warmth now, but it is not enough, my friends. This puny campfire is not enough. I need to get properly warm. So for that, we will be doing a little bit of campfiring if we come to my magic. And let's do build campfire. I think we have enough logs on us collected from good. I'm freezing to death. I need to do this quickly. I think this second fire will help us, friends. I have place here. If I use this, use, please. Light the fire. Light the fire. Strike stone, please. I beg you. Just like that, we should have a nice roaring fire going. And I'm kind of kneeling into this puny fire. That's how puny it is. I'm not even burning. And let's make this a roaring campfire to make us very warm indeed. Uh, now this is a this is a real uh, campfire. Look at this, my friend. Look at this, the puny spitting fire versus the roaring logs. Look at this. Yes, that's it, my friends. Gather round. We begin to warm up. Come on. This has been a hellish trip out here on the roads. We left the safety of the walls of White Run. Oh no, not White Run, but Windhelm, and we're heading to White Run. And I can't seem to get any warmer. That's uh, that's not very good, is it, friends? We left the safety of the walls for the uh, the hard life of the road, but a better lands await us. This is our strife. Our trials and tribulations will lead us to promise and coin and good living. So remember that, my friends, as we look as we look down upon this fire, as we warm our hearts and our spirits, remember that the future holds many great things for us. Right, I'm actually not sure how long I'm going to stay here for. I'm no longer freezing to death, which is nice, but this won't warm me up anymore. So I might actually... Oh, look, there's some pilgrims on the road over there. Hello, friends. Yet more pilgrims by the gods. Wait, is there only one lone pilgrim there? Friends, what happened to what happened to all the other pilgrims? Right. Let's actually get out of here, I think. Let's let's pick up this fire. Let's put out... We can gather the logs that we put on their back because they're not, they're not being used. And this was just to keep us a little bit warm. The fire leaves you feeling inspired, though. Very good. And I gather seven logs of unspent fuel. Let's destroy that. Let us also uh, gather up. Let's break camp. Yes, I want to break camp, please. Do we get that campsite back? That's the question. I don't think we get that campsite back. I think it's a one-time use thing, which isn't great. But without further ado, I shouldn't freeze to death so quickly now. Although, as I say that, I'm freezing. That's because my exposure was already high from last episode. And there is a, a felled wolf here on the road. This is ingredients that we cannot uh, afford to give up. Let's uh, quickly take its pelt, shall we? I want your pelt so I can indeed uh, make some leather. Yay! I'll do this quickly uh, as I don't want to freeze to death out here. Oh no, I just feel dressed. I want to get its pelt, please. Please, good sir. I'm guessing the pilgrims killed this this wolf then, I'm guessing. Right, let us skin pelt. I will not butcher its meat or harvest ingredients for I only need its pelt. And it's a ruined one at that. That's not great. Right, gather our spirits, friends. We must ride! Is there anywhere nearby for shelter? It looks like there's a small hamlet up ahead. And oh my word, no, there's more dead pilgrims. Oh, there's dead pilgrims. No, another dead wolf. Oh no, what happened here? By oh, the gods, did the wolves get him? What's this? Oh, an assassin. Oh, he's been deheaded. He's been absolutely beheaded. I'm guessing the Knight of the Faith did that then, right? Over there. Oh, so we killed two pilgrims, the assassin, before he was felled by the Knight of the Faith. By the gods, don't disappoint me, Master E. Who is this Master E? And why is he sending out so many damned assassins? Dead pilgrims. This is not what I want to see. The Knight of the Faith protected that one pilgrim, though. I'm going to take what I can, as I don't want to leave anything here. I will uh, let them be in peace, though. I'm going to take their clothes. I'm freezing to death. Right, quickly, gather everything. No, I want to do that last guy. Quickly. The horse. Get out of my way. Right, I've got everything. Let's ride. Let's ride to the nearest hamlet. I see one up ahead. Let's ride there and gather our, gather our warmth. 
I'm gonna freeze to death, please. Here we are. Ooh, I know this place. This is the um, the Crossroads Inn or whatever, isn't it? Was it Night Night Gate or something? I think. This is it. This is Hell Jarchen. What? This is. Wait, am I? Is, it, is this an is this an SE thing or an, or an anniversary edition thing? I swear this was just always a lonely inn. Yeah, I, I recognise this place. Get off my horse. I, I do recognise this place. It's um, yeah, this place. It's the it's the Night Gate Inn, isn't it? I know, I know this little lake and whatnot. At least we can warm up in the inn. Now, this might be an anniversary edition. Uh, edition. <laughs> right, let's uh, jump inside the Night Gate Inn and warm our spirits, my friends. Come on in. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Oh. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send that sounds lovely, friend. S sitting by the fire Had sounds magnificent. I will customer, do that, please. Eh? Just like that. We should get warm very, very quickly in here. We're inside, plus roaring fire equals we should be good to go. Yes, my friend, do it. Yes, warm yourself. You've earned it. My friends, gather up. Yes, my friends are gathering around the fire as well. We've earned this small reprieve. Mead's on me, friends. Dr drink, drink your fill of mead. Have some delicious hearty meals. Oh, we've earned it, my friends. What's my uh, exposure looking like now? Oh, no. That's me placing a fire by accident. No, no, thank you. What I wanted to do was this, which is my exposure is now 35. It was 71, but moments ago, and ever increasing, and now it's dropping drastically, which is good. We're not wet as well, which is nice. I'll uh, take my helmet off while I'm inside as hi well. There. Well, hi there indeed. How, how goes things? Mm -hmm. Greetings. Okay. All right. Yes. I can't trade it. It's always Until a smithy. A smithy indeed. Oh, nice. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, no, thank you. I'm, I'm good, thank you. Both lousy, you ask me. Oh, I see. My word. Right. I actually, Hi. speaking of beds, I do need a bed. Actually, I need to sleep my spirits away. But the question is, well, what's this? Not yet in patrons' note. I just want to talk about this amazing inn and how great the service is. The innkeeper is a kind, helpful host who was so effortless in his laziness that he didn't bother to read past this point. That's right. This inn's the worst, the literal worst. Of course, even if you can get past the bad service, the garbage food, the ghosts living downstairs. Ghost? On Earth? They're also bloody traitors. Not only do they rent to filthy elves. Hey! Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm welcoming this inn. I spotted one of them hide something in a barrel out back. I'd grab it myself, but it's probably covered in some disgusting elven disease. It would take nine of the world's greatest alchemists and human sacrifice to cure my word. This guy really doesn't like elves or this inn. If I were a wanted man, I would burn the barrel along with this sorry excuse for an inn. For now, this letter will have to do. So there's a barrel out back with something stashed inside. Ooh, Brothers in Irons. I might give that a little look, you know. Um, all these own. So wait, how do I rent a room here? Is it this room? But there's no bed here. What do you want, little elf? Where, where on earth is the, the little little elf? How dare you? Do you know what I might have to do? I might actually have to make my own <laughs> bedroll and lay it down here. We're going to check our needs currently. We are hungry, thirsty, slightly tired. So we're not, we're not really that tired either. But I do want to sleep until morning. I don't want to hit the road again until the snows have stopped. That's cool. Um, right, let us see about purchasing a room then something i can get for you yes and oh my guts rumbling indeed friend a bed please oh, how traveling. much f is it Come yep 50 coin for food or lodging uh oh you built this place with your own hands it certainly looks like it i don't want to be mean to this guy this guy's welcome welcoming us in i mean i know we're paying for it but Do you know that, that could be taken in a good way as well let's this old place yes indeed it looks like a grand place you've forever. built built by my great granddad oh run by him then all He's, he the did a fine job friend me. he did a fine job but for now i would like a warm bed to lay my weary head down please good sure sir thing it's yours for a day oh thank you i've been uh out on the road the cold harsh I'll road show you to your room right this way oh, okay please take please say it's this one wait it's not this one is it wait I have, there's no bed in there how do i even sleep here why is there no bed what's going on there, there's i'm guessing there's meant to be a bed here right but there's some kind of glitch going on that's uh, not helpful at all. The only bed accessible via a player is 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 missing a bed. If I order another room, do I get um, something? I can. Let's rent a room. Are you joking? 
You just I, rented a room from. Are you joking, guy? Are you joking? Yeah, are you joking, guy? Hey, you, you've, you've given me an empty room. We went to Bent sleep on the. Beer are both lousy, you Shut me. up, guy. The beds. There isn't even a bed to be lousy in. Talk about. <laughs> There's net nothing what bed. Do you want? I want a bed that I paid fifty septums for. You scoundrels! You took my coin. Right, that I just cannot abide. Right, we're, we're figuring something else out. I'm not. I'm gonna go back and. Uh, Possibly make a, a bed roll. I think there might be a tanning rack outside. If not, we can make one. There is also a cellar here. Could look. At, we could look for a place down here. I mean, listen. At least we're warm, okay? There might be a missing bed, but at least, at least we're warm. I won't, I won't steal from this chap. And oh, hello, friend. There is someone down here. Oh, he's got his own room down here. Look at this. I really don't mean Cozy. to be rude, friend, but. I'm not feeling particularly sociable. That's fine, friend. I, I'm merely looking for a room myself, someone to, to rest my head. I mean, I've slept in worse places. I could lay down a bedroll down here, maybe. Somewhere. Um, that, could, that could do the job. Uh, he's not feeling very sociable. I won't talk to him then. He's not, he's not very sociable. This is all his stuff as well. I'll leave him in peace, I think. I don't want the ire of an orc uh, against me. Okay, this is just the cellar with the, the barrels and mead and, and whatnot. And there is a... Okay, there is a way out to the outside world. Heljarchin, so... I don't remember this place being called Heljarchin, but... I, I know Heljarchin Hall from... From a uh, Hearthfire, and I know the Heljarchin Farm from the mod. But, uh, let's just go outside, I guess. Oh, hello there, friend. Oh, we're all outside now, and, uh, yeah. There's a little basement here. Let's pick these flowers as well. As, uh, they might be worth a lot once we get to a new hold. Now that trade and barter is activated, and there also, where's the barrel? There should be one around. Oh, here's the barrel. Straight up. There's also a large sack with four cabbages free for the taking. But in this barrel, there should be something stashed. Undercover guard's journal. Let's take that. I shall read that guard's journal uh, at a later date. Wait, this isn't it. The guard, is it? It's not you, friend, is it? Uh, they're reforming a dawn Pale hold guard. Vampire hunters or something. Right, let's see if there's a tanning rack available for us to make uh, a bed roll or a tent even. That could be good. Let's see, shall we? I feel comfortable. Okay, I'm getting slightly colder. Should probably put my helmet back on, but that's fine for now. Right, let's use this tanning rack. It's free to use. Uh, we have... How do we make a tent? Let's get ourselves a, a large fur tent, shall we? Yeah, large fur tent bedroll. That requires 12 fur plates. Okay. To make that, we have... Oh, we've got enough. Okay. Wolf pelts and cow hides. Where, where did we get the cow hides from? Where on earth did we get those? Did we trade for those or something? Back in... Where, I have no I have no earthly idea where we got cow hides from. Um, but we have them. And we have more than enough to make uh, plates. So if we use four of them, that should give us the 12 we need. Let's save the wolf pelt for now. Let's use these cow hides up. They offer us more. Just like that, we should be able to make the large tent. Large fur tent bedroll. Brilliant. Let's uh, let's do it. We can also oh we can also deconstruct the uh, assassin's leather gear to make uh, leather bits. Let's do that. I have no need for the, uh, the leather armor, so let's do it. The leather armor gives us three leathers. And a wolf out gives us another. I'll keep the other cow hides for now. Cool. Right, we've got a tent now going, which is amazing. Actually, we could just sleep outside, you know. We don't even need to sleep in the inn. We've now got our ourselves a large fur tent, which should be amazing. Let's set it up somewhere, shall we? Maybe down by the river somewhere. If we get a campfire going, we won't be too cold. Oh, oh we can also fish here as well. Oh, come morning, shall we fish? Oh, let's sleep by the river, friends. Let's do this. This is a cozy. This is a cozy existence for us. Although we have to be careful. There was another assassin on the road, although he was slain for us. I really do hope they're not after us uh, in particular. So let us use the f the uh, tent, shall we? Place. Ooh, look, this is large indeed. This is a grand tent. There's room for all of us, friends. Place there. Yeah. See, the frostful the frostful camping is way much better than the. Uh, the anniversary edition. This is just so much better. There we are. We actually have shelter now as well. This is good stuff. There we are. The shelter blocks the wind. The air is cold. Getting colder. I feel chilly. That's fine. For we have a uh, campfire as well. We have enough logs that we we harvested from a uh, good old windhelm. I think there will be a good a good spot. 
Let's place that. Let's... Oh, friends, this is going to be cosy. Look at this. What a cosy existence. Right, by this little... Uh, not, it's not even a river, really. It's like a, a large pond. But it's uh, right near the inn. We'll get a nice little campfire going. He's already sitting there. He's ready. Right. Uh, oh, we can use magic. Oh, we can use magic to light it now. Let's, let's try that. Let's give that a go. Build and light fire. Magic added. My word. Look at that. Yes, with my with my fire in, in, in my own hands. Right, we're, we're going to do roaring. We're going to do roaring fire for sure. Burns for twelve hours. Emits very strong heat. Uh, can be used for cooking. Inspiring. Very good. Seared fat. Oh yes, please. Let's have some seared fat. Why not? Uh, leg of goat roast, filling meal. Let's do it. And a goat uh, haunch. Let's do that as well. A stamina recovery. And a light snack. Okay. Oh yeah, of course we skinned that goat on the road, didn't we? Last episode. We didn't want to go into waste, so we skinned it. That's given us uh, the meal for the morning. Gather your spirit. Look at this. Yes, gather yourself, friends. I offer you a small gift of fire to boost your morale. It's been an honor traveling with you, friends. But for now, I'm going to sleep my weary head away. My bedroll's there. I'm going to say that there's enough room for everyone in here. Because why not? All right, let us... Uh, oh, use light. Yes, please. There we are. Begin to warm up in here. Yes! This is amazing. The fire's close enough that we begin to warm up. Yes! Finally, shelter of our own. Ah, oh. it was dire straits out there before, but now we're now we're here. Now we're cozy. Let us then. Uh, should we lie down? Okay, I can press space to use your tent. Oh, oh, there, uh, look at me. Yes, I'm chilling. This is amazing. Look at me just lounging back. Ah, oh, a well-earned rest. Kind of glitching a bit. Talk to. Oh, I can talk to my followers. Oh, did I just stand up there? I think I just stood up by accident. Uh oh. Let's try sitting down, shall Hey, don't use my bedroll, friend. Let's sit, shall we? I wouldn't place the, the bedroll here, personally. I would have placed it, uh, over there or somewhere. But let's, uh, let's just sleep, shall we? I do I have to get up and lie down again to then sleep? By the gods. Oh, sleep. Let's sleep until the early hours of the morning. Let's just get, let's get a solid eight hours, shall we? Yeah, 10 past 8 a.m. start. Fire still going. I'm uh, very thirsty. Also very hungry. But my camping perk progress has increased. We should definitely take a look at the skills at some point, I think. There are skills. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, 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 oh. oh nice! Firecraft. Uh, perks to increase 0. Rank 0 out of 4. Oh, so getting this, you can light campfires seven seconds faster in all weather conditions. Okay. When using a strike stone. How do, how do I... How do I even uh, get these? Oh, additional ten stamina when making when using a walking stick. Okay. Resourceful. Gathering one extra branch. Okay. Skill bonus from large campfires lasts 50% longer. Oh. Cool. Keen senses. Detect items and creatures 50% faster. Oh, okay. I'm... I'm for some reason, I'm 67% of the way there. What about this one down here? 67% as well. Same for this one. Okay. Let's, sh let's go next, shall we? What else have we got here? We've oh, we've got this. Oh, what's this? Adaptation. Increase warm throwing by 20. Oh. Yes, please. Indeed, I do. Oh, we have our first skill. So our warm rating is now plus 20. Going to keep us extra warm. Very nice. Exposure increase from frost spells and attacks is reduced by 20%. Oh, okay. That's handy as well. I like this one more than the other one. Increase warmth of all one equipment. Oh, nice. The art of withstanding the elements. Survive longer in cold and wet conditions. And make better use of worn equipment. Spend some time in the rain or in cold climates to earn perks. Okay, I've been doing that a lot recently. So that must be why I'm getting 76% uh, of the way there. Okay, so oh, that's also that's also very cool. I can meditate to, to not go past freezing. That's actually pretty handy. Now the coverage guy, uh, glacial swimmer. This is this is pretty cool. Is there another um, skill tree? Um, no, oh, no, just back to the axe one. I, d I don't think we've unlocked any of these ones yet. Yeah, we we have uh, we have none of these. We have no skill points. We only had the endurance one. 
That's fine. Let's exit skill, shall we? I feel comfortable. This is nice. What a, what a morning to wake up to. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keeps me getting any colder. Right, I'm going to put on my helmet, I think. Because uh, I need all the coverage I can get. There we are. Wrap yourself, friend. Get nice and cozy. Ah, oh, very good. Very good indeed. Let's uh, let's eat and drink our fill, shall we, friends? We've got... Oh, you've got the ash yams as well. We should probably cook those in a recipe at some point. Um, let us eat some cooked boar meat. Let's get that down. I'm still hungry. Interesting. Let's eat another bit of cooked boar meat. And I'm now full from that. Very good. Let's drink some water as well. I need more water. I've got a water skin here. Let's drink two bottles and uh, half a water skin. That should be more than enough. More than enough. Let's just pretend this bread is a lump of uh, boar meat, shall we? This is, this is good. I, I can get used to this, you know. Perhaps I will do a spot of fishing, you know. I'm no longer thirsty. That's good. Let's also fill up our water skin here, shall we? Oh, I just ate a tomato by accident. I've eaten too much now. Brilliant. I just ate a whole tomato by accident. Brilliant. Right, let's do a little bit of light fishing. If there's a fishing rod here for us. If not, we could always forge one. Uh, I believe there is not a fishing rod, sadly. Fishing supplies, yeah. Uh, that's okay. We can make a little fishing rod. While we're here, we're in no rush. Uh, White run lies ahead, but, you know... We can, we, can, we can wait a bit. Our little steed is here. Let's not steal the salmon. Okay, this is good. So I, can, I can get used to this. We've got guards patrolling. It's Let safe here. Guess. Oh, bodyguard. Oh, a bodyguard. Is there a traveler merchant around then? There's, there must be a traveler merchant around. Sorry, I'm very, my guy's very slow now because I ate a tomato by accident. I, I over, I've overeaten for once. Bodyguard, where is your uh, where is your master? Where is the traveling merchant? Hello there. I'll follow this guy. Disrespect and oh, if I follow him, he will lead me to the merchant. Let's do some trading. We've got some gear that we want to get rid of, so we may as well trade. We'll do a little bit of light trading before uh, before doing some fishing. Why not? This is this is lakeside living, man, at its finest. Oh, he's, he's on the road, is he? Oh, he's just up ahead there. I'm so sluggish and slow because I'm overstuffed. I've eaten too much and I cannot run. Merchant, wait up, friend. Oh no, these are some uh, militia warriors. Hello there. Oh my word, yes. you look like fine warriors indeed. Hi. Merchant, wait, don't leave just yet. I know you were stopping by. Oh, I'm feeling chilly now. I know you were only stopping by, but please. Let's let's do some light trading, friend. I too am a traveling merchant. Right, let's, let's trade, friend. Take a look. I have amber to sell. Acrim let's get rid of all our gems, why not? There's no reason to keep them. I will keep everything else, I think. Let's get rid of the animal bones. We don't really need them right now. Troll skull. Let's get rid of that. Cowhide, I'll keep. Any weapons that I can get rid of? Get rid of the daggers? Or I could melt them down, actually. I'll melt down the daggers instead. Yeah, I think. The chitin armor. When did we get these? I thought we already sold these. Yeah, I don't want another set of chitin armor. Let's, let's get rid of that. Dunmeri red tuning. That's worth a lot, but I want to keep that for now. We'll get rid of our Dunmeri shoes, because we have Telvani shoes, which are a lot better. Uh, we'll keep our cloaks. Yeah, let's get rid of our necklace and our onyx ring. I think, honestly, that should be uh, enough trading for today. Amulet of Zenithar. Price is 10% better. Oh, I didn't even know I was wearing that, but it's good that I am. Gold Aquamarine ring. Let's sell that. That's, that's worth a pretty penny. Look at this. We're getting so much coin. Amulet of RK. Oh, that's good for health. We could keep that. Right, everything else I will melt down, I think, so long as there's a uh, a schmelter. Good doing Until business with you, friend. Time. I need to go get warm. And speaking of warm, let's try and see how much coverage we get from our good old hood and cloak. Oh, yes, we're up, we're up to uh, 200 warmth now. Fantastic. Yes. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. So cozy. So cozy indeed. This is amazing. Do you know what? This really makes me want to do a uh, explorer slash survivalist series where we live out in the wilds. Oh, yes. Some nice fish there. Look at this. I, I would live here IRL, to say the least. Let's see if there is a smelter or if we can indeed make a fishing rod. There is no smelter by the looks of it, but there's a forge. Let's make a fishing rod. Fishing rod, and we have more than enough. Yay! Over here as well. Let's make some more steel bolts as well. Oh, our smithing has uh, been leveled up. We've made a bunch more bolts. I will also cut some more wood. 
Yes. I want a good. Uh, wait, what's? The, oh, the god! Oh, this is this is the assassin's head. Why is it? Why is it? How did it roll down here? <laughs> it rolled all the way down here, did it? From the road. We saw his body, his de-headed body. That's what you get for attacking pilgrims on the road, guy. The night of the faves will kill you. They will slaughter you where you stand. That's a promise. It's a bench here. Cool. We've got a fishing rod now, friends, which means we can do a little spot of fishing. I think. This is the cozy episode, friends. After the, after the the near death of last episode, this is the cozy chill episode. Very good. Let us then gather our courage, our spirits, our sweetness, and I must equip my fishing rod. Let's go ahead and favor that because we're probably going to be using that a lot. Huh? I draw my fishing rod in one hand, and I fish in the other. Look at this. Fishing! Yay! Press activate to re- I'm guessing that's E, I'm guessing? Ripple to the surface from nearby fish. The water is calm when you cast your line there. There's no more- f Okay. Fish will turn in the day- Oh, so you can actually overfish. Okay, I'll look for a- Yeah, E to reel in. I'll look for a strong pool then. Oh, they're splashing about! Come, friends. Find my bait. Reel yourself in. Yes, there we are. Oh, too early. Okay, too early. He was bit. He was but nibbling. That was my friend mining on a clay deposit, is he? Gods. Oh, he's nibbling. He's nibbling. I've got him. I've got him. What did I get? Ooh, look at that. Arctic grayling. Very good. Friend, please. German, we don't need clay right now. I'm trying to have a peaceful fishing experience here. Well, what are you doing? Friend! Easy. <laughs> what was that about? My word, Dremen, friend, please. What do you need? Just, just go, 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 go. Wait there. Okay, got it. I need you not to mine, please. Don't you, Anything don't you start else? mining, friend, Stenvar. Do not you dare start mining. Stand, come here, Stenvar. What? You stand here. We'll do. I, you're, I want a. That it. I want a. Uh, what do you need? A spot of Anything calm else? fishing, please. There we are. Good. I want to fish calmly and in, in peace. Okay, this this is this is awesome. I can, hey, Stenvar, get out of the way, guy. You're scaring off the fish. I can get used to this. This is a life. I can get used to. There we are. Boom. Oh, okay. Is that even worth having? I guess from green. I feel chilly. Let's go walk by our fire for a bit, shall we? Um, I would like to do some more fishing at some point, though. I wonder if I can cook these delectable fish up on my fire. Let's see. Um, oh, I can't, sadly. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, nice. Let's just sit for a while, shall we? Come, friends. Into warm up. There we are. That's what we want. That's what we want. I feel completely warm. Nice. That was quick. Let's tear down this then, because uh, we have to be on our way soon. Let's gather any logs uh, that are left on the fire. There we are. Oh, I've fire leaves you feeling inspired. That's a nice message to read. There was no unspent fuel to reclaim. Oh, that's sad. We should, uh, we should mine a few or cut a few more logs before we leave as well. Right, let us pack up, shall we? And that tent is now ours. Yeah, we have now we've got a large fur tent for all kinds of weather. Right, if there is a wood chopping block, I'll quickly mine some. Our horse is here. Our valiant steed is here, which is nice. Very good. Oh, this is, this is cozy. Oh, actually, do you know what I think this might be? I think this might be an addition from the cutting room floor mod, actually, as opposed to anniversary edition. I think that's what this might be. Okay, so this is some cut content, I'm guessing. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool, though. Uh, there's, there's bound to be a woodcutter's block around here, right? I mean, there's a cut-up head there. Um, this is the forge. Someone has to feed the fire somehow, right? Uh, there's a lot of logs. I have been cut, so there's got to be a chopping block. I beg you, good sirs, to show me the chopping block. Uh, that's the cellar. Oh, we should also, oh, we should also read that, that note, of course. That journal. Oh, there's a little ch chopping block over there. Very good. Let's quickly read that journal, then. Let's see about that little quest we got. Um, oh, an anonymous letter. When, when did we get this? The Rising Dead. Someone please help. A group of necromancers are experimenting with conjuring zombies. Using ancient, dangerous magic, which I fear will have unintended and irreversible consequences, I was expelled from their studies as their ambitions grew into folly against my warnings. 
They're performing a ritual to summon a large group of these foul, uncontrollable creatures as we speak in the southernmost area of Skyrim. And it must be stopped before it's too late. Sadly, my friends, or my friend who wrote this anonymous letter, my heading leads me elsewhere. And so someone else, a brave adventurer, will have to deal with the, uh, the zombies instead of me. But where is that uh, undercover guard? An undercover guard's journal. Investigate the campsite near the northern coast. Yeah, I'm not going to the northern coast. That's uh, not happening. I've been asked to investigate rumors that one of the inns to the west is providing refuge for bandits. Several carriages traveling to Windhelm have gone missing as of late. The captain feels it may be related to the Crimson Dirks. I have some business to finish in solitude, but it shouldn't take longer than a week. Again, my heading leads me elsewhere. This is this is towards the north and towards solitude. I, I, I'm not heading that way, my friend. But my travels as a merchant will lead me there one day. Uh, I need, do need to travel across the land, so I could be there one day. But for now, let us get some good old logs, shall we? You never know when we might need to build a, a quick little campfire. And after this, we will ride to good old Whiterun. Boom. Okay, I've mined too much wood, or I've cut too much wood. So, Dremin, my friend, you are you hold on to something for me. Good friend. Right, we have a lot of stuff to sell once we get to White Run because uh, we're we're approaching over encumbered. I don't know why though. What, what, what am I carrying? Is it, is it is it the firewood? Black. Why am I, why have I got black boots and bloody boots and stuff? What is all this stuff? Hunting bow, imperial bow. I don't need all this. Oh yes, of course. The weapons and armor. We, we should melt that down. I, I don't think there is a smelter though. Sadly, I think that's going to have to wait until we get to White Run. Okay. Well, it's been cozy being here. I must be on my way, though. I've I've used this place as a refueling and rest stop, pretty much. So it served its purpose. But this was this was nice. I could, I could stay here for a few days longer, but you know, of course, I, I must reach a white run soon. But uh, it was a pleasure being here. This was a nice refueling station on the road ahead. Let us uh, let's continue on our way, shall we? Luckily, if I do become over encumbered, I can just ride my horse to White Run. Let's keep following the road. My friend sh should hopefully not be too far behind me. I'll, I won't ride too fast. Oh, there is some kind of crypt up ahead. We should uh, be very careful here. Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, there is a... Don't tell me that's a bandit explorer. Friends, get him. Are you kidding me? Is that, is that really a bandit explorer? Oh, it's a bandit leader. Oh, he's hurting Dremin. Get him, get him, friends. Why is Dremin being targeted? That's it, get him, friends. My horse, my, even my steed is getting in there. Yes, friends, get him. Okay, I just witnessed you destroy that guy. Good, good work. Okay, there are indeed bandits. They are blocking our way. We have no choice but to slay them where they stand. Come at thee, you foul beasts. Dremen, be careful. For some reason, Dremen's being targeted more than others. I don't know why. Oh, there's a bandit warrior. Ah, I got hit by an arrow. Who goes there? Where is the archer? They have an archer somewhere. I'll find the archer. You kill the warrior. Oh, they've already killed the warrior. My steed wants, my steed wants blood. My steed wants blood indeed. Boom, right in the heart. Get him. Boom. Dremen, you're getting very wounded there, friend. Be careful. What have you got on you, bandit dropper? Just some basic arrows, do you? I'll be taking all your hide stuff, indeed. I will not enter your hideout, though. I do not want trouble. Oh, my. There's a whole ribcage just lying on the ground by the gods. Right. That was uh, close. I will quickly take everything they have, though. Why not? I'm over-encumbered. My steed will carry me safely away. All right. Very good. Let us, then... Gather all the armors. We'll melt this down once we get to White Run. I'm not even looking at what they have. All I know that is that it's good for me and it's going to produce me coin. The bandit leader should have some nice things on him, though, shouldn't he? Look at him. You attacked me with all my bodyguards, you fool. Now you, now your life is over, lying in the blood. Oh, he's got, he's got some good stuff. Oh, he's got a lot of potions. He's got a message as well. The position is perfect. The stones are massive and strong. We don't give up. We have taken this place, and we won't go away from here easily. <laughs> e, it's E again! The assassin guy. Wh who is this E? A mysterious, a mysterious fellow indeed. With his esoteric messages to all ne'er-do-wells across the land. Hopefully we won't have to meet that guy in the future. He does not sound, uh, he does not sound too friendly. But, for now, we uh, are not far from Whiterun. We'll be leaving this accursed snowy plain soon. Onto greener pastures and uh, fertile lands. Let's uh, keep going down this way, shall we? Very good. Can I, use my, oh, I can use my crossbow on horseback as well. Very good. 
Oh, there's an ice wraith up ahead. Let's wait for my friends. I see an ice wraith on the road. I wonder if I can get him from here. Oh, God. I really hope this doesn't kill Dremen. Dremen's already very much wounded. Oh, that missed. Can I go first person? I can't. Oh, I'm missing, I guess. Get him, friends. Oh, oh he's weaving. He's bobbing and weaving. Get him, friends. I believe in you. I will collect his teeth. Those will be worth a pretty penny to alchemists. Yes, indeed, they will. Let's gather your ice wraith teeth. Ooh, four ice wraith teeth. Very good. Dremen's uh, holding back, which is good. I would like him to do that until we get him nice and healed up. And just like this, my friends, we exit the pale. The cold, harsh lands of the pale. We enter the pleasant and golden lands of Whiterun. Yes. And there's also a wolf there. Let's get this foul beast out of here. Oh. Okay, firing from horseback is very inaccurate, I guess. What's going on? I'm like... I'm aiming at him. Come on. Other gods. Just, you, you just get him, friends. You just get him. Don't want to waste my crossbow bolts anymore. Oh, yes. Here we are. We've made it. And there's a nice fire there already waiting for me. Guards. Very good. Guards means uh, security and safety. Hail God outpost. Very good. So this must be where their... Uh, this must be there where their patrols end. You need something? Oh, only a touch of fire and warmth, friend. Only, only that. Dremen's very hurt. We need to get him to safety soon. But worry not, safety is just ahead. The glorious city of Whiterun atop, atop the hill lies before us. Look at that. It's a stone's throw away from us, friends. Let's not wait any longer. Let's just go now. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to talk to you, Stenvar. Right, let's board my steed once more. You need something? No, I don't know, friend. I do not, friend. Just keep these lands safe and keep tra traders and travellers like me safe. And you would have done your job fine. Let's ride! I'm just going to do a blanket sprint to uh, go to the White Run now. My friends will catch up with me. Oh no! The Jester. I shall ignore him. I do not want to tr treat or trade with such a fool. Right, we'll go around. We'll go around him. Oh, I see the hold banners up ahead. Yes, we will be entering White Run. Yes. Finally, away from the cold, harsh lands of the Pale and Windhelm. This is the land I can get behind. Oh, and already I'm... Oh, my word! By the gods! Gods! Who's that? Oh, that's what I I thought Irena was naked for a, for a second. Gods, get the, this bandits already! Bandit warrior. More bandits jumping out at us. Oh, Irena, be careful. That's it. Use your club, friend. I've got my crossbow. That's it, friends. Get... Oh, he smashed that guy's spine! Stenvar. Brilliant work, friend. Oh, Stenvar is just smashing with that club. Gods, what were you doing? More loot for me, I guess. Wait, there's white run guards up there, and they were doing nothing. Where's the other? Where's the other accursed being? Where's his body? I want to take from him everything. Where is that guy's body? Nice work, Stenvar. I'm glad I gave him that club. He was just smashing foemans, absolutely annihilating them. Look, the body's still twitching. Look at that. Oh, it's brutal. That was a shock to their nervous system for getting bashed in the head like that. Look, their bodies are still twitching. Oh. You've done, you done them in, Stenvar. You absolutely mullered them. Good work. Guards, where are you? You damned fools. Your bandits on the road. You were doing nothing. Yeah. Watchtower. Watchtower indeed, huh? What good is a watchtower if it's being manned by blind fools? But here we are. Oh, what's this? This is something else that's new as well. This also might be a cutting room thing. Oh, pleasantries upon pleasantries. Look at this land. So beautiful. The flowers that grow here. The game that runs free. This is a land I can call home. Finally. This is this is what I was promised fr from leaving Morrowind. And there's a smelter here already for us as well. Tundra Homestead. By the gods. This this is this is somewhere I can call home. Look at this place. Tundra Homestead. Okay, this this fills my soul with glee. And my spirits are alight with flames. This is ah oh, amazing. I could live here for sure. Right, let's first melt down everything we don't need. Like these iron boots. Right, my smithing is leveling up very quickly. I don't know why. I might have to re re rejig some of the mods. Iron armor. Iron sword. We'll melt down that steel sword into an ingot. I don't think that'll be enough for our carry weight just yet, unless there's a tanning rack. Uh, which I hope there is. 
There's, there's, there's bound to be one here. Yes, there is one right here. Brilliant. Fantastic. And with this, we'll melt down or destroy all of the uh, bandit armor we've got. Someone do something. Oh. I'm, tr I'm trusting you, friends, to deal with that wolf. Uh, it sounds like they did it. Oh, fur shoes. That's uh, getting all our fur plates. Look at this. We'll never need for fur again. Ruined pelt. We get hide lace from that. Oh, very good. Oh, yes. We're never going to want for leather again. Look at this. So much. Ooh, light leather. We can use salt pile plus leather. Okay, very cool. Right. Are we uh, still over encumbered now? Or are we good to go? We're still over encumbered, but not by much. Oh, actually, by quite a lot. Oh. Right, since we're over in Cumberland, we may as well loot this wolf as well. Why not? Oh, I just boarded my horse back in again. Brilliant. This this place is so cozy. When wolves don't attack, that is. Oh, enemies are still what nearby, are they? There are indeed enemies nearby. Else? Oh, they're approaching. Here it comes. Whatever it is. Is it another wolf? It is another wolf. Get him. Boom. There we are. That's what I want to see. I should level up once I get to Whiterun as well. Look at this. The golden fields. It's like, this is the promised land. This is what was promised to me when I left Morrowind. My spirit was slightly broken when I reached Windhelm and I found not only the climate to be cold and harsh, but the people too. I hope Whiterun is accepting of me because this land is certainly is. This is what I need, this place. How do I, can I buy this place? I don't know what it is, but it looks magnificent. What would it cost me to buy this delicious looking place? As soon as I can walk again, I'll come back and buy this place. Tundra Homestead. Oh, there is a... Oh, Homestead for sale. Indeed it is. Homestead for sale. This home and its surrounding environs is available for purchase. Nice. I've had many cherished adventures in Skyrim, but now I'm afraid I must leave it behind. The war has made life difficult on all of us, and I fear that the worst is yet to come. I have entrusted a steward in Dragon's Reach with managing the sale of my homestead. If interested... Please seek him out. Indeed, I am interested, friend. This shall be my home in which I trade from. Yes! Okay. New plan ahead. We ride for Whiterun. I was not even expecting this to be here, but we now have a new plan. We must meet that steward and give him the coin. We've got quite a lot of coin on us already, but I'm, I, I doubt that's going to be enough for such a glorious home. So we shall sell and trade until we have the coin to, to rub together. And that will be, be my home. Because uh, maybe seem to start a family, perhaps. Indeed. Tundra Homestead. I do need to offload some stuff quickly. I, uh, being over encumbered does truly suck. So let me trade some things for you, Stenbar. You have the space to carry a bunch of stuff. So let me just give you all this stuff. Yeah, like this hide shield, these leather braces. I don't, I don't need all this stuff on me. Oh, my traveling backpack has been unequipped. That's what's giving me the carry weight. By the gods. No wonder I couldn't run. Yeah, I can run. I can run now. By oh, the gods. Okay, that, that was all it was. I was wondering why my space was so low. I accidentally unequipped my backpack. Damn. Right, well, I'm glad that's been sorted. Next time I'll check to make sure that I'm actually wearing my backpack. Because uh, there was no reason for me to be over encumbered all that time. But uh, you live and learn, I guess. So I'll make sure to remember that. Also, I'm glad to see that uh, many guards... Uh, out here on patrol, and uh, oh, there is. Oh, he's got his bow out. Oh, there's. Oh my word! There's an army of Nerduels there. Friends, get them! Get these guys. They block up. They block our egress on a road up ahead. That's it, friends. Get them. There's. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, my horse is got jumping in the fray again. Get them, friends. Get them. Oh my word! They're so tough. Oh, our runner's taking a hit. Oh, we're getting them though. This guy's healing up. That's it, friends. That's it, my friends. Get them. Stenvar, use your mighty club against the Nerduels. Slay them where they stand. Bandit Magician. Oh, the gods. Hey, leave my horse alone. You best leave my horse alone, Bandit Archer. I'll have you. I'll have you. No! You just slew my horse! No! No! My steed! What have you done? How? You had no right. You had no damned right to slay my steed. He took me so far. I was to give him a good life. I was to give him bandits, man. There's so many freaking bandits. I'll strip you naked of everything you have. Sadly, horse, I'm going to have to take your hide because it is going to be valuable. This uh, this sucks. My, my Graylin's horse is now dead. This was literally called Graylin's horse, and it's, it's over. It's freaking over. 
I was having such a good time as well uh, in this pleasant land, and that was cut short by yet again bandits attacking us. Fantastic. Thank God I had guards though. And it looks like the white one guards have been slain. I will, uh, I will not take from them. I will leave them in peace. I don't, I don't want to make a bad impression of my first day in, in a new town. Once again, I'm over encumbered, and this time I definitely don't have um, a horse to take me. So let's offload stuff again. Right, honestly, that's all I'm going to take for now. I really haven't got any more room. Once I sell stuff in White Run, I can come back and uh, loot from the dead more. But uh, I think that's where I'm going to end that because uh, I've got five more. I've got five more carry points before I'm over encumbered yet again. Right, another dead guard. Looks like they took out many, many guards uh, during this whole mess. Where? Oh, I, actually, these, these, this organized bandit mod is sometimes more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. Uh, it is a bit of a nightmare dealing with them. But the companions were here as well. Where were you when the bandits attacked, huh? You cowards! Well, that's taken care of. No oh, I can say the you. same. The bandits were, were no thanks to you. So I, I, I'll say that, yeah. <laughs> Do you harass every traveler who walks past you fighting a deadly creature and berate them for not joining in the public display of barbarism? Certainly Listen, not. I just... But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to okay. take on a giant. Okay. Well, I was fighting bandits. That's why I'm here, with my shield. I, I care not. What in the blivin is a shield, brother? I care not anyway. An outsider. An order of warriors. Cool. And we you should have been a warrior. Okay. The coin is good you should have helped me with the, with the bandits. Until I care not time. about you and your ways. Fight with us. Arana, what are you doing? Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. Uh, not much, to be honest. I'm not worth much, but my uh, pockets jingle with coin. And is that a banned fire wizard I see before my very eyes? I think that is a banned fire wizard, you know. Let's just double check. That would be pretty cool, if so. What happened is bandits attacked, and we could have used your magic if you were here sooner. Yes, a banned fire wizard. Hello there. Hello there. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Okay, I'll leave you in peace then. Until next time. Right, let's finally make our way to White Run without our horse, without our valiant steed. This this truly sucks, friends. What a shame. I'm thinking though, do you know what? I might end the episode here just before we enter the city. Oh, I hope there's some Khajiits around. We could trade with Oh, the Khajiit merchants aren't here, sadly. What a shame indeed. But do you know what? I might end this episode here and set up a small camp of my own outside. By Izmir, oh, it's true. Hello. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Laurius oh, farm. I see. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. Like okay. to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> I, I I ran it. I ran to that guy. I did run to that guy myself. I ignored him. Right. Do you know what? After all the trials and tribulations getting here, I will end the episode here before we enter the walls. In the next episode, we shall enter White Run, and begin trading and making coin, and then we will buy that Tundra homestead. That is our new goal, my friends. For now, I leave you here, as always. If you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing. Your viewership is always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.